I lift my hands and I lift my voice and I will let the world know that it is because of you that these things are before me we are not ashamed to tell the world today world over that Jesus is the reason for what we call koinonia today Joshua Selman is nothing without him koinonia is nothing without him it's one thing to have the ability to preach and teach and heal and minister but it's another thing for God to draw people from world over to come and listen and to submit to the grace of God committed to you man of God never get to a point in your life where you become too big to acknowledge Jesus thank God for all of these little things here and there the security that help for I, I tell you I have a confession you ask the protocol department and the security people this is my fight with them they are doing their job professionally but if it's up to me I went at this place you will not know if I have a way of just entering there to carry my Bible once it's time I just appear here and preach and disappear I will do it with joy it's just that there are some levels in life no matter what happens there's nothing you can do about it I know that while some of you watch all these things some of you are admiring it and that's what drives you be careful God is warning you now God is warning you now God is warning you now you are laughing but God is serious God is warning you now read yourself from all of these lusts you will be celebrated for sure nations will call you blessed for sure but let them be the one to clap while you point them to Jesus forever Jesus will remain glorified in my life glorified in this ministry and glorified in your life also that when men look at you and say from whence come this lifting others are saying there is a casting down what is happening to your business that you are rising in leaps and bounds I just hear you open a new office you don't just laugh and say well say it again no don't say they know tell them you are the doer Jesus I acknowledge you and they say please leave those spiritual things what did you do and tell them no 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 I will not leave it this is how it happened I don't know how it happened for others what is the secret to this your peace your children are well behaved everybody's respectful who says because they know me go and ask them how disciplined their father and their mother are. No. No. no am I wasting your time can I tell you this you've heard me say it when I had this encounter with the Lord where he taught me the lifting power of humility this was what the Lord told me son if you will let men see me there is nothing I will not give you this is what God told me ah for men to see you that's that's fine John chapter 3 and verse 30 must be the lesson that everybody takes home today as far as humility is concerned he must increase but i must decrease decrease does not mean diminish decrease does not mean go back no that you exalt him how do you know you are humble when men look at you they remember jesus not you when men look at you they know they see all the miracles they see the signs and the wonders they see God lifting you and all they can say is Lord you are a wonder when men look at you and it's only your praises they sing something is wrong with your approach for everything God has done in this life for everything God has done in this ministry truly to him be the glory to him be the glory to him be the honor no man on earth should give glory to himself all the glory listen let me show you what humility does you stand here Lord you are the lifter of my heart I give you all the praise and God says you have done this at this level you don't have a car you don't have a bike 
you are not doing anything and you are acknowledging me let's go higher you don't know that the, the ultimate goal is to take you there once you are here people say my god you are already at this level and the holy spirit to say remember what you did when you were here do it again he's giving and pride will say i'm comfortable i mean now you can see me and some people remain here forever till they find out they're already down here again but some other people stand here and while people are looking at you you are even you are distracted you are not distracted by what they are doing they call you all kinds of names daddy apostle whatever thank god for those things but your attention is with jesus are you ready for this he lifts you to the next level you became a governor you became a senator you became a man of god now he trusted you one branch two branch two branches three branches he now helped you and you say lord even at this point may the nation see you through my life ah. and men look at you and say be honest jerry enjoy this thing enjoy this moment and sometimes you can be distracted and then he calls you back i have other people who need to rise if you want to make this space vacant i will fight you to make it vacant and lift others and you say no no i remember how you brought me and he will still find you in the night rolling and he says you are ready he will move you to another one when he moves you you will not be alone you will find other people that he moved there too they will now start distracting you let's focus on laughing at those who are down and you tell them i don't know how you got here but me i know how god brought me here and i will not be distracted many times when you are up here it looks like there are other people below you let's gossip let's mock let's push them let's fight anybody who wants to come down there are people who will remain here for 30 years until they start going down by the time they are 50 they are back here you say i thought i used to know you here they say condition is a lie the path of the just is as a shining light when your tomorrow becomes greater becomes worse than your yesterday it is pride a man's tomorrow should not be like this no you know people who are walking in humility because you never see them at the last level you saw them you are right here at this point people are already calling you things papa if you are in ministry you are mentoring people everybody they are just blessing you inviting you around the whole world you are in hotels you are having all kinds of cars jeeps you are enjoying everything zero and then one night if god wants to help you he will call you and say my son i'm still waiting for you where we used to meet before don't distract me oh god the spotlight is on me this was what i looked for growing up this was what i wanted people said i would not make it now that i've made it let me stand so that i can savor the moment and he says my son we still have other heights to climb don't stop here but there are others may you be part of them tonight in my life be glorified be glorified in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you You get the glory You get the praise You take the honor I just want to say thank you While you are busy singing this song And living this song with your life Men will open their eyes and find you here You are standing with kings and nations And they say we used to know him Ah, humility has a lifting power it will shift your background shift your gender shift what men said they can say while you rise they can talk while you are lifted I tell you this the end of a man who is truly humble
cannot be predicted by any mortal man on earth there is no prophet there is no apostle whose eye can see as far as a man with humility can go only God can tell the end of a humble man just when you think he has attained that God now lifts him again to another season hear me we're about to pray the Lord brought you to church tonight to show you that there is a secret men do not just rise God is the lifter of men are you ready to pray let me give you one key you have to write this down one key what is the key to humility the key to humility is found in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18 please our global family the body of Christ as many who will follow this do not forget there are eight words that I want you to remember for the rest of your life as the key to humility the A part but thou shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember not just the Lord thy God hear me one of the greatest keys to humility is remembrance remember where God took you from and remember who took you if you can remember where God took you from and you can remember who took you you have mastered the key to beating life at its game believe me when David stood before Goliath Goliath said am I a dog that you are coming to me with this sling he said God who delivered me I remember success has a way of eroding your memory that's why there are certain pains and certain things that you have gone through don't throw them away archive them they will become the anchors that keep you when you are successful when everybody around you is looking for favor and you can never hear people who tell you the truth again times will come you will have to be your own counselor let yesterday be your counselor remember how God lifted you man of God remember once upon a time you had no church no reputation politician remember once upon a time you trekked without shoes every time men forget they stop moving forward remember 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 this is what I do all the time let me speak to someone here keep the memory of your pain now you will need it tomorrow don't waste your pain your pain is a miracle the scar listen the injury on your hand today is what will keep you when you sit on the throne till today Jesus still has the scar the scar reminds him of his love for man again every time you see that scar you remember every time God did wondrous things to the nation of Israel listen to me he gave them instructions he says find a way of archiving this if your children ask you and say why are you doing this tell them oh Israel you forgot too soon that for 430 years you were in the land of slavery now you began to build idols one of the ways that God brings men to humility when they forget him is to lift his hand and you will see what the devil does in your life every time people were proud he gave them over to their enemies it's in your Bible Africa could this be why we are going through what we are going through Nigeria could this be why we are going through if my people who are called by my name what's the first thing they do not pray not pray we have been praying we have been praying humble themselves it is not because the arm of the Lord is too short man of God it does not take God anything to expand your ministry it does not take anything for the anointing you desire if it's prosperity I dare to tell you there are enough destiny helpers enough ideas enough systems and structures for God to lift you read your Bible and see the lifting power of God when you become at the center stage of your life forget about the hand of God I remember 
remember your goodness I remember remember your love I remember remember your faithfulness I remember remember your grace I remember a time in my life when I was going to preach no bike no nothing it was raining I remember trekking in the rain while the rain was pouring on me I was praying in tongues and going for the meeting and look what he's done today and then you forget keep that memory that's what God will use to remind you oh billionaire remember that one time you were soaking Gary and you drink and say to dine to the Lord be all the glory but today you have chains of restaurants around the world oh let it never enter your heart oh God anything you give me let it stay outside me sit in your position alone jealously guarded by my passion for you don't think I wasted your time tonight I gave you the key to the next level some of you as a company you need to do this go back to God tomorrow when you go to work tell the people to excuse you a bit lock that door and kneel down and say father you may even need to pray your local dialect maybe it will give you room to express it more and say God of heaven you are the one who has shown me mercy forgive me if for any reason I joined an association of unwise people and I started forgetting you in the name of celebrating success be careful with some of these groups and associations they, are, they may not be wrong but we must be careful because some of them mislead us into feeling embarrassed that is the Lord once upon a time you could not afford a good shoe but now you can even buy the whole boutique oh please do not forget thou shall remember remember yesterday and remember the Lord remember yesterday and remember the Lord take this message and give anybody you know and you love sincerely use it to train your children if God has blessed you and you are a blessed man with substance sit your children down don't just show them the money tell them the stories tell them young boys you have the privilege to eat anything you eat today and travel around the world but it was not always like that I came from a family where we had to use well to use well to draw water out God began to help me if the only thing I give you people is money I've destroyed you this is a mistake and I say it finally before we pray most leaders in Africa and Nigeria are making this mistake we are not giving those who look up to us the stories we are only giving them the rewards so a young man now does not know that ministry needs stamina and endurance and pain why because he just came and received impartation received maybe three or five cars and had his mentor or spiritual father come and stand as a leverage to speak for him an increase is coming and he can look and be laughing at people and say shame on you five years no membership because of that leverage pain is a gift make sure you give those you really love don't inflict pain on them the testimony of your pain I mean share it with them let them know that once upon a time you fasted and prayed that this anointing did not just drop because you read your bible and tell them the privilege you now enjoy do not abuse it carelessness comes when process is not known when people ignore process the result is carelessness i'm going to give us two three minutes i don't know how you are going to cry before god i will do my own here the next two three minutes you are just going to say lord if ever my heart is lifted forgive me show me mercy tonight and grant me grace pray you don't have to kneel down or lie down just cry before your maker please no movement around this is a serious moment go ahead and pray
majesty majesty your grace has found me just as I am empty handed but alive in your hands your majesty majesty forever I'm changed by your love Just remember in one minute. Remember where his majesty took you from. Dear man of God. Dear apostle and dear prophet. Dear pastor and dear evangelist. Dear politician. Dear academician. Dear millionaire. Dear billionaire. Dear elder statesman. Dear father. Dear parent. Remember where he took you from, dear student, dear great man. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy, for your goodness. Thank you. If you have to cry cry if you have to sing sing just a minute or two and we're done let him know that i am still your boy oh god i'm still the one you lifted i'm still the one you helped I'm still the one you blessed I'm here to say how much I love you. I'm here to say how much I adore you. Lord, I'm not here to complain about my many struggles by your spirit and your grace. I'm confident you'll solve them, but I'm here to say I love you. I'm here to say I adore you. I'm here to say. I love, I love to Lord, as men look at our lives, may they see you. As men look at our lives, oh, may they see you. It is easy to see the glamour. It is easy to see the anointing. It is easy to see the spirituality and the results. It is easy to see the achievements. But Lord, tonight, we declare that we love you. We're wrapping up. And with our hands lifted up, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted up, we come before you rejoice with our hands lifted up to the sky and the world wonders why we just tell them we love in our king oh we just tell Now I can pray for you. You don't have to kneel. Please just stand. 
now I can pray for this grace that brings exaltation I have seen it I know it works believe me there is a grace that lifts there is a grace that grants you access to kings to systems to structures there is a grace that enthrones beyond your wildest imagination many of us here have been lifted we have tasted of honor and glory we have seen the help of god but i submit to you that at any level there is still more there is still more there is still more lord may we never forget may the nation see that you are the lifter the blesser the anointer the one who prospers may the mundane things in this life never get into us to turn our hearts and our minds away from you may we be ever conscious and now i pray for everyone here under the sound of my voice i pray for our global family so in closing we are going to be looking at luke chapter 14 and so at this in this passage um something happened so there was a man who had a dropsy and jesus healed the man uh, on the sabbath and the pharisees and the sadducees were trying to question him uh, try to question jesus why he should uh, heal uh, someone on the sabbath and jesus was trying to give the illustration of um, when uh, you have an ox that fall into a pit and uh, are you going to leave the ox to die in the pit because it's a sabbath or anything or stuff like that so after he has uh, he was done with them he put a parable a parable before them so i'm going to read from luke chapter 7 so after all the drama um so i'm going to read from seven now and he put forth a parable to those which were bidding when he marked how they closed out the chief rooms saying unto them when thou art bidding of any wedding of any man to a wedding sit not down in the highest room lest a more honorable man than thou be bidding of him and he that bid thee and him come and say to thee give this man please and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room but when thou art bidding go and sit down in the lowest room and when he that bid thee cometh he say he may say unto thee friend go up higher then thou shalt have then thou shalt have worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee now this is the main um verse now verse 11 for whosoever exhort himself shall be abased and he that humble himself shall be exalted right so like as we have heard from this um message from our father and the lord um apostle joshua sermon speaking about humility this is a classical um, Bible passage that talks about humility. So it says that when you humble yourself, you'll be, you'll be exalted. But anyone that exalts himself shall be humbled, shall be brought low. It also, in, I think in First Peter chapter 5, verse 6, it talks about humility there also. Right? Humility is very, very important. And in scripture the bible talks about jesus that he humbled himself unto death right it was because of the humility of jesus that he was able to go to the cross and die with all his glory and all his power and all his might and all his strength he humbled himself even to accept to die on the cross like right so humility is a very very powerful tool in the kingdom of god is a very very powerful tool for christians and we should ask god for the spirit of humility to be always humble and yeah to be always humble 
So it is God that can can give us the heart of flesh, right? That is what the Bible says that God was speaking that he says that he will give us the heart of flesh, right? So in the in the time of uh, the when the children of Israel were in Egypt, when Moses was performing miracles, signs and wonders at a point God says that he has hardened the the heart of Pharaoh so that he will not let the people of Israel to go in order to for Moses to perform those wonders in the name of the Lord so that they will know how mighty God is. So God can harden the heart of my man and also God can give someone a heart of flesh. So it is with the heart of flesh that one can be humble. It is with the heart of flesh that one can bring himself down in order for God to be lifted up. And when you bring yourself down for the name of the Lord to be exalted, God is going to lift you also, right? He said, when I'm lifted up, I will draw all men to myself, right? That is what the Bible says. So I pray that this message um, blesses you. And I encourage you, please, um, subscribe to our channel and like um, this message. And if you have any suggestion at all, Concerning the kind of messages that we put here, if you want a recommendation or if you want us to make adjustments in the way we edit our videos or the intro and stuff like that and the background music that we put, if you have any suggestion, please feel free to drop, in, drop it in the comment section and please share this message with others and bless someone right bless someone because this um social media platform uh, space social media space is uh, i what i'm looking at is that many christians we are not doing what we are supposed to do on the social media right if we see a very funny video that that is not a kingdom it's not does not have kingdom at heart we'll be quick to share the message we'll be quick to upload it in into our whatsapp status and all of that but when something is of god we we'll just pass by sometimes we don't even care like personally when i see a message on facebook maybe i'm scrolling through facebook reels or or youtube shorts if when i whenever i noted notice that is a christian content even if I'm not going to watch the content to the end, I make sure I like it, right? So that it will get, um, the algorithm will push it to more people, right? So your impact, even though you are not the one that preached the, the message, or you are not, uh, yeah, let me just put it like that. But that like, it has an impact that like can contribute to making sure that the message reach more people right and that your impact though it might be small but it will have an effect right so thank you so much for staying to the end of this message please i encourage you to like this message and share with others god bless you see you in our next video bye